tonight. We're glad that you're spending this time with us and uh, invite you back to each and every opportunity you have to uh, spend time with us. you got a few announcements to make, and I'll go through these quickly, so pay attention. I'll make sure that uh, uh, when uh, Derek puts the bulletin out on Brown on Friday that you check the, uh, all the sick folks and all the other things that's going on. So we'll go through those. Hewland Parrot is still having a health problem. He's still in the hospital. Uh, Teresa uh, has not gone home. She's still in the hospital, and they're monitoring and, and looking for some tests that she's run to how to, to uh, further treat her, and, and hopefully that'll go well, and they'll find a good way of uh, doing that. Uh, also, former member Betty Purple passed away uh, this morning, uh, and so we'll keep that for the family in our prayers. Carlos Ball, one of our new convert, converts, has been in the hospital. He had surgery on Tuesday. He's in uh, St. Dominic's Hospital in room 6518. Uh, let's continue to remember uh, Loretta Ellis, Loretha Wallace, Ernest Longstreet Sr., Chris Ray, Lyle Thompson, Jenny Lane, Jack Zach Shires, and Nancy Wright in our prayers. Okay, the announcements of upcoming events, breakfast was Saturday, is this uh, Sunday rather, uh, this Sunday at uh, Hello. Breakfast with Santa this Saturday, December the 10th at 9 a.m. And if you're willing to help, please meet down front after services right here in front of there. So we won't have to go very far. So team Christmas party slash candlelights December the 10th for that Saturday. See Joey Jamison for details. And he says meet at the building at 5 p.m. Uh, Saturday afternoon. Sunday morning at 9 a.m. There, uh, there's a deacons and elders meeting in B1. Uh, all the deacons and elders are asked to attend. Uh, so uh, we've got something we need to talk about. So uh, make sure you be there. If you're a deacon, make sure you be there at, uh, at 9 a.m. Uh, the Golden Circle Christmas Party is December the 11th, which is next Sunday. Uh, after morning services, bring a $10, $15 gift for Dirty Santa. No gag gifts. Sign up sheet on the bulletin board for food. Uh, standing in the Gap is next Monday, December the 12th. Uh, all men are asked to bring Cajun food. We're having a Cajun cook-off. Uh, three categories, red beans and rice. Best jambalaya, best gumbo, and drinks and desserts will be provided. The Team TNT, December the 13th at 6.30 to Andy and Dana's house. Uh, the bus will leave here at uh, 6.15. EU, EU University, uh, January the 13th through the 15th, that's in Savannah, Tennessee. Deadline for teens to sign up is December the 16th. Uh, bring $45 for food, so let's keep that in mind. Uh, on December the 25th, we will meet at 9.30 for Bible class and 10.30 for worship. Uh, we will not have an evening services, and all classes will meet as, uh, as normal. And also remember the ladies' uh, retreat on January the 27th through the 29th. And if you have questions about that, see uh, Hannah or Morgan Delaney. So let's bow for a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we're so thankful for another opportunity that we've had to, for this church family to come in the middle part of the week to open our Bibles and uh, listen to the teachers as they teach the, the lessons that they prepared. And we pray that we've had open hearts and open minds so that we can be receptive to what has been taught and so that we can pattern our lives by the, the way that God, the gospel has been taught to us so that we can share it with others who uh, do not know Christ. And we're, we're so thankful for the opportunity we, that we have and help us to, as we have opportunities, to reach out to those in our community and just the people that we have in day-to-day -day contact with. Father, we pray that you continue to be with this church here. We pray that you continue to, to bless us in every effort that we put forth. For in Christ's name we pray. Amen. If you are going to use a book tonight, I want to mark the invitation song. It will be number 21. Number 21 will be after our Nebo tonight. And before, we'll sing 380. 380. And we'll sing verses 1 and 3. There is a name I love.
Good evening. If you would, turn in your Bibles to Matthew chapter 25. Uh, if you happen to have read your uh, bulletin and uh, examined who's supposed to be up here doing a devotional tonight, I can assure you the name is not Gary Hampton. The individual that was supposed to speak tonight met me at the door and said, do you happen to have a five-minute devotional ready? And I said, well, yeah, I, I do. And he said, well, good, because I'm not prepared. <laughs> he forgot. It happens, okay? I, but I asked him if I could tell that story. It's a true story. I'm not going to give names. You have to find it on your own. Uh, but, uh, but it's an important story, isn't it? Matthew chapter 25 is, is a parable. I want us to notice the beginning before we do anything else. Then the kingdom of heaven should be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. In the book of Matthew, the kingdom of heaven is the church. This is not a parable about the church and the world. No, no. This is about the church. This is about us. It's very important to see that because it goes on. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you. But go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. What's the difference between the wise and the foolish? Primarily, it's preparation. The wise would have been ready if the Lord had come back quickly enough. If the bridegroom had come quickly enough, they were ready. But if he delayed, they weren't ready. There's a message for us. As I look at this audience, so far as I know, the, the great majority, if not everybody here above a certain age, is a member of the church. You obey the gospel. At some point in your life, and in my life, therefore, we were ready. If the Lord had come right then, we'd have been good. But do we let the world and all of its goings on cause us to forget to keep being prepared? If we do, then we need to re-examine because he's going to come when some people are not looking for him. And that includes some members of the Lord's church. They're not going to be looking for him. My plea with everybody tonight is get ready for Jesus. He might come tonight. Might not. I don't know. If you haven't believed and repented, Put on Christ in baptism. Please do it. That'll get you ready for now. If you've done that, but you've kind of let life push its way in and push God out, then it'd be a good time to come back. A good, good time to ask for prayers. Be prepared. Because we don't know when the Lord's coming. Why don't you come while we say All hearts persuaded
Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving Father in heaven, we're so thankful to you for this day that we've had to come together here, brothers and sisters, and worship you. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you would be with each one of us as we uh, study your word each day, that we will gain the things and the messages that are in there for us to live our lives the way you want us to live. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will be with all of our members who are sick and announced. Be with them and help them in any way that they need. Help those that are taking care of them to do just what's needed for them to gain their help. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you would be with us now as we leave this place. God, guard and direct us. Forgive us our sins and we fail you. Is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.